I'm Charlie and this is Rachel. Strike that. Reverse it. So I found this cute little vest and I just had to make it for my little tough punk boy. Look at him. I mean he just he's he's begging for a tough guy punk jean vest. So that's what we're gonna do today. But first we need to go get stuff to make it. So let's do that. Fortunately Charlie cannot come with us because you know dog rules or whatever so he's gonna stay here but we're gonna go on a mission for him and we'll bring back the goods by the way we're going to goodwill so let's do it so almost immediately after lint rolling i've got hair on my knees this is what happens when you own dogs and dog sit guys Bye, Abe. Let's do it. Ebony has taken over my show. It's the Ebony show now. We got the goods. So now we're gonna cut the sleeves off and then we're just gonna try it on and see how it goes. So. Oh, and we don't need this anymore. Do you mind? Thank you. All right, so we're just gonna cut along the line of the sleeves right there. We did it. It's a cute little vest now. It actually turned out really nice. Let's try it on the little man. See, he's frozen. <laughs> he's frozen, no! Um, I think it's a little big on him. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna need to make some adjustments. What do you think, Charlie? 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 He's not talking to me right now. Are you sitting on my clothes? Anyways, so if I think if I cut this panel off, and then sew this to this. It'll be small enough for him. <sighs> but I've never done anything like this, so we'll see. And this is kind of fun. Do, 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 do. But yeah, um, I didn't leave myself very much seam allowance on this side, but I'm just gonna like fold this, fold this. Sew them like that. Hopefully we'll get something out of this. So I'm gonna turn my three flaps inside out and then I'm gonna pin where I wanna sew. If you can hear my brother raging, it is because he's playing Mario Kart and it is understandable. Now I'm just gonna sew along this line right here. I then stitched the two floating pieces together after pinning it and it was a bit of a struggle. I've never worked with Jean before. You can see me like complaining. I had to keep re-threading the needle and everything. So not the funnest time, but we got it done. That's all that matters. It worked. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try sewing this together in the machine. We'll see if I break my needle or not. Well, it totally came unthreaded halfway through that. Probably got to hand stitch this. Good news is I didn't break my needle. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side and then I'm gonna probably hand stitch this part back together. And by the way, I'm totally winging this and no way is this a tutorial or anything like that. Mom, what time is it? Okay, thank you. <sighs> we made it tinier. All I have to do is hand stitch the bottoms and then we're gonna try it on them again, so. I then began hand stitching the hem back together and completely whining about it the entire time. I also managed to poke myself in this time and it was all for nothing because I ended up undoing the hem at the bottom because it fit Charlie better. So that's what this clip is. I somehow made this teeny tiny jean vest even teeny and tinier. So here's like my seam line. Actually, let me show you the good side. Get my good side, okay? all sewed up. Don't look at the inside. It's disgusting in there, but whatever. All right, now it's time to try it on the little guy. 
I won't talk about how much time has passed because we don't need to talk about that. <sighs> As Charlie sits on his throne of clothes, it is time to do our second fitting. Are you excited, buddy? Look how excited he is. Abe's excited, aren't you, Abe? Hi, Bubby. Oh, look at that! It fits! I don't even think the length is that bad if I just snap that last button. Oh, <laughs> see, he's frozen. But it fits! What do you think, Charlie? Can you sit? Can you do anything? This is the position he does. All right, well it fits now. It's time to like embellish it and make him look really tough. Cause Charlie's Charlie's a tough guy, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> Let me tell you a story about a girl who used to wear studded belts every day of her life because she thought it was super cool. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna bore you with that story. The same girl removed all the studs from the belt and put them in a box. So. I'm gonna use them to decorate Charlie's vest. So I got blue, I got splatter paint, white, and black. And I want silver, so this is actually useless. I think I still have a belt, let me check. I found them. Oh yeah. I told you I was cool. And look at this pink one with the splatter. Oh man, from Hot Topic themselves. This one's actually in really nice condition. That means I didn't wear it a lot, but you can see this one that's held up with duct tape. I wore every day. I loved this black and white. I found silver and I also had a black one. I wore this one a lot too. But today we're tearing apart this one. So on the back, you have to pry these up. Let me see. What do I have? What do I have? Be right back again. All right, I found a knife. So let me show you what you do. Wedge it underneath. Also, don't use a knife. Don't be like me. Use something less sharp. All of a sudden, this has become a tutorial, I guess. So no way is this a tutorial. My brothers are still playing Mario Kart, by the way. So you pry them so they're like straight up-ish. And then on the other side, you dig your knife underneath and you pull it out. Lost it. Ta -da. And then you just do that a million more times and you're done. So that's what I'm gonna do. I bet you're wondering why I kept all these belts. And this is the exact reason why actually. I knew that these studs might come in handy one day. And I just honestly haven't gotten around to removing all the studs. And I probably should just do the whole belt right now because I'm here doing it. But I might just take off what I need for the jean jacket. First row, done. So I'm gonna do the rest off camera and I'll be back. While I worked on de-studying my belt, I watched my brothers play Mario Kart to find out what was so exciting. And I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty riveting. Hey, here we go, here we go, here it is, here it is. No, you oh, don't! Yeah! Hey, you nothing again! We're going faster after getting hit! No! Faster, faster, faster! 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 Okay, I did half the belt and we're gonna hope that's enough because, well, if it's not, I deserve my fate for not like figuring out how many I needed exactly. But anyways, I think I'm just gonna line the back right here and maybe do some on the pockets because that'll look really tough. So to put one on, you pretty much do it the same thing you did to take it off, only in reverse. So you press it into the fabric where you want it to go like that. And then the little claws are on this side and you just wanna push those down. You push it down, maybe, maybe you push it down, maybe you don't. Aha, so then they're pushed down like that. And then you're gonna to wanna to just like really make sure they're down. You don't wanna poke yourself or your little doggy. So like that. And now I'm gonna line the whole thing. Yay, for me and my great ideas. While you're doing this, I think it's important to reflect on how you got here in life. What led me to this moment where I'm making a tiny vest for my dog that isn't even going to ever wear it, really? Okay, so I'm three deep, and I'm gonna do the rest off camera because this is taking a lot longer than I thought it was. So once this whole thing is lined, I will be, I'll be back. I slacked off so hard last night. It's the next day. 
I played Minecraft instead of doing this, so oops. But I'll give you a guess on which side I did first. If you guessed this side, you're right. <laughs> the like, the consi like the quality is so much better. Like they're straight, less gap, but I mean, it's fine. He's really never gonna wear it besides for pictures, so. I don't redo stuff, guys, I just don't. I'm not a perfectionist, so. <laughs> and then I decided not to put them on the pockets. I'm gonna fill the front up, I think, with patches and pins. So that's next. Also, I let out all that hand stitching I did, so that was for nothing because it fit him a little better that way. So that's awesome. But yeah, I like it. So let's uh, let's go shopping for some patches. And we're back. I found a bunch of patches to put on. I got most of these from a kind soul. I stole this one from my mom. She gave it to me, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't steal. So let's do a layout and see how I wanna do it. So this was the layout I came out with. I think it looks pretty good. Ebony was also very excited about the layout, as you can hear. So my mom is using the sewing machine, which means I'm probably going to have to sew these by hand. I don't want to do it. <laughs> so the thought of sewing these all on was just too great for me to bear. So I just hot glued the patches onto the vest. That's right, just some slapped some glue on there. And it actually worked super freaking well. And they didn't come off. I might I had to like reinforce around the edges once they were already on, but that wasn't too bad. I did stitch on the little Jack Skellington one just because I knew that the hot glue was gonna bleed through that patch and you'd be able to see it. But I did like a really just quick stitch around the whole thing. It was it wasn't too bad. Definitely. What was worse than doing all one, two, three, four, five of them? So I also put hot glue on the back side of the studs to keep them from moving around as much and just to make sure they didn't poke the little guy. And then the vest was complete. I wheeled my bike out into the middle of the street so we could get an awesome sunny shot of Charlie on my bike in the vest. And now it's time for the big reveal. 